Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I filmed this look. It was supposed to be a cut crease, but it didn't work out the way that I hoped it would. So this is kind of my how to fix a sloppy ass cut crease type of tutorial. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I've done my brows and I put a little bit of foundation on. I just started my acne medication and the cream has made my skin so dry, especially my eyelids. So I'm hoping this comes out okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and set my eyelids with my Fit Me powder. I am going to use tape um, just because it'll make everything look a lot more crisp. I'm just going to place this up against my lower lash line and aim it towards the end of my brow. And that's kind of how I go about getting that guide as to where the tape should go. I think I'm going to be doing this whole look with this W7 Color Me Nude palette. This is really similar to the Naked 3 palette. So if you have the Naked 3 palette, go in with that. I'm going to start with this shade right here. And that is going to go right into my crease. This shade that I am using right now isn't really showing up. So I'm going to try to go in with a deeper shade. I'm going to take this more plummy shade and I'm going to put that in my crease. I'm going to take this plummy shade. It's kind of plum. It's a really cool tone. I'm going to take this shade right there and I'm going to put this in my crease as well. And I'm just going to take this on the same Y16 brush. I'm not going to bring it up as high, but I am going to focus it in my crease. That way, whenever I go to cut my crease, you can still see the shadow. Actually, I think I'm going to take a smaller brush. I'm going to use this Morphe M441. I'm going to take my Y16 and blend those shadows together. My eyelids are looking so crusty right now. I'm going to go back in with that M441 and build up this deeper purple shade just a little bit, focusing more on the outer corner. Again, I'm going to take that Y16 and blend out those two colors. Now that I'm done with the crease, I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. I'm going to take my Fit Me Concealer and a concealer brush from e.l.f. and just start cutting my crease. When you're cutting it, you're just going to follow the shape of your crease all the way across. I have this little Better Naked Ruby Kisses palette. And I'm going to take the shade Birthday Suit right there. It's like this white pink metallic shade. I'm just going to pack this on my lid. I'm going to dip right back into this purpley shade in that Levatix palette. And I'm going to put this right in my crease since I did kind of mess up on my creases and now they look uneven. So I'm going to have more of like a blurred effect. This is pretty much how I always kind of save my cut creases if I mess them up to a point to where they look obviously off I just go right over where I cut the crease and I deepen it up that way it still has that cut crease effect but you can't really tell that it's messed up I'm gonna put this right on the outer edge really close to my lash line just to bring some depth into the look. I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild highlight and I'm gonna pop this on the inner corner. I'm gonna take a, another e.l.f. concealer brush to do that. back in with the M441 
and just kind of blend those two together. And because I kind of butchered the eyes, I'm just going to leave them at that. I'm not going to do too much more. Okay, so this totally went downhill. Um, this was supposed to be a whole cut crease, but whatever. It happens. Just removing that tape. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of my Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation on the back of my hand. I should have did my winged liner while I still had that tape on. But since I didn't, I'm just going to go ahead and do it now before I set my face so that I can still clean it up. So I'm going to take my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I'm just going to do a wing. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer. I don't know, I think this is, might be too dark. I'm like out, all out of my concealer. Let me see. I have like the tiniest bit of this Photo Focus Wet n Wild concealer left, but definitely not enough. So I think I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Come Correct concealer. I'm just going to try to blend this out. Um, I'm going to apply a little bit of this to the forehead, to my chin, and blend that out. Okay, like I don't like the texture of this. It's just very sticky, but it is brightening everything up really nicely. So I don't know. I don't know that I hate it. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my face with my Fit Me Loose Powder. I'm just setting the high points of my face. Wow, it's crazy because this eye look was not what I was going for. Well, in a sense it was, but I guess I just wanted it to be. Like, I really wanted to give y'all that cut crease video because a lot of people have been wanting to see how I did it. But I think when I'm not feeling as sick as I am feeling that'll be easier to film because right now like i wanted to do my makeup and i wanted to film but at the same time like those complex looks i just they're just not for me right now i just don't have the energy or the patience for them honestly i'm going to take both of these brushes this is the ruby kisses duo fiber brush and this is the real techniques contour brush I've been liking to use these um, to bronze. I'm going to go ahead and use my Milani Baked Bronzer today in the shade 09 Dulce. I've just been using this one because my Physician's Formula one is cracked and it's really messy to use. I'm just using this to chisel out my cheekbones and kind of slightly blend upward. The contour brush is nice for giving you that definition. But to make everything really blended, I like to go in with this brush. I'm going to go in with this on my forehead just to give me some color, not necessarily to like slim it down or anything. Y'all, I'm deep conditioning right now because my hair is just no bueno. I mean, I haven't been taking care of it like I should be, granted, but it's just so dry. I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. 
I'm gonna take this Ruby Kisses tapered blending brush Ruby Kisses has some decent brushes like I want to get a, a couple more of them and see how well they all work because the ones that I've gotten so far they're bomb they don't shed they just they work really well I'm pretty much done with the face I think I'm gonna leave it at this I'm just gonna go and blend out all of this bronzer like I typically do so I'm just gonna take my Maybelline Lash Sensational and pop this on so that I can prep my lashes for the falsies I've been wanting to vlog so bad I just don't have anything interesting to vlog but honestly I feel like if I lived an interesting enough life I would seriously just have like a vlog channel while I'm waiting on my mascara to dry so I can go in with my falsies I'm just gonna pop on a lip so yeah I'm just gonna go in with this Maybelline lip in truffle tease this is my go-to pretty much for any look I do Oh, I completely forgot to do my lower lash line. What am I doing with my life? I'm going to take this flat smudge brush from e.l.f. Or eyeliner brush is what they call it. And I'm going to take this deep purple shade in here that we used right there. And I'm going to press that up against my lower lash line. I'm going to take this wet and wild highlight and put this on the inner corner so I'm just wearing the same Miss Dirty volume lashes I always wear check the description box if you are interested I got my lashes on finally after like 10 hours um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on some lower lash mascara and a little bit of highlight I'm going to take my favorite elf highlight which is moonlight pearls this one right here i'm going to take this ruby kisses fan brush i have like a gold highlight on this side so i'm going to use this side i just put the tiniest amount on my forehead as well so this is the completed look I hope that you guys enjoyed I will have a actual cut crease video coming as soon as I can get that filmed probably when I'm feeling a bit better so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching bye